Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the WWE News and Rumors Wrap-Up Show, the Wrap-Up Report here on Sean's View Entertainment. Now, like I said, I'm prolific, consistent, and dedicated, but on occasion, when the rumors and news are coming out at a fast rate, I'm just going to sum all of the rumors and news up and give my opinion, and in turn, I want your opinion and I want your comments on the matter. Huge developments as it concerns the WWE World Heavyweight Championship pitcher and Daniel Bryan, as well as how the WWE is going to move forward with SummerSlam and what is going to happen in the championship pitcher in the WWE. Once again, thank you for listening to my thoughts and my comments. This news broke earlier this morning on PW Insider, as well as F4W Online. Link source proven in the description. This can also be followed on Lords of Pain, Wrestling Inc., and multiple other dirt sheets and paid subscription-only newsletters. There was talk backstage at last night's Raw that WWE World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan won't be out of action, but for one or two months. The feeling was that WWE like likely won't strip him of the championship if he's out just one or two months. But what happens if it goes over that? What's going to happen then? Then the wheels are going to start turning. Maybe the WWE will start to water down Daniel Bryan and his 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 moves as it concerns his repertoire and how he's so you know dangerous in the ring as he throws caution to the wind. He does all these high flying maneuvers, the flying headbutt off the top rope. I feel that this is going to make WWE change up the way that Daniel Bryan is shown on our television screens as it concerns his in ring ability. And then everyone's going to say Daniel Bryan only has five moves of doom, and then everyone's going to compare him to John Cena. And that's the thing with neck injuries. When you're never the same. I don't care if it's uh, a neck injury that's minor or severe. You're never the same after a neck injury. You have to adapt. You have to learn. You have to switch up your strategy. You have to do different things. And I feel with Daniel Bryan, with him going so hard for so long and throwing caution to the wind night in and night out and giving his body to the fans and trying to go out there and give you the very best in-ring athleticism, I feel that this is where the WWE is going to tone Daniel Bryan and they're going to step him back a little bit as it concerns his in-ring skills. And that's a hell of a thing. But you know what? When you're talking about Daniel Bryan and how the WWE wants to use him and his longevity in the company, you would have to assume that the WWE is going to change up the way Daniel Bryan does things in the ring. Now, obviously, it's too early to make a call, and they won't know for sure how long Brian will be out until doctors get in and perform surgery on Thursday. Until then, word coming out of Raw is that everything is still up in the air until surgery is over. Word coming out of last night's Raw is that the WWE World Division Chairman Daniel Bryan has a broken neck, and it was described as a minor break. However, Brian will be undergoing a small procedure this Thursday, not something complex like next fusion surgery. The belief is that he will be out of action for some f six to eight weeks. Now at Raw last night, WWE officials were looking at SummerSlam for a potential return. The injury came from years of Brian working the in-ring style that he does. Not just one instance, there were some people talking like the diving headbutt from the forklift pallet at Extreme Rules may have furthered the injury, but that hasn't been confirmed. Or when Kane tombstoned Daniel Bryan not once, not twice, but three times on Raw several weeks ago could have also contributed to the problems that Daniel Bryan is currently suffering from. Regarding the status of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the belief is that when they get done with the surgery, if there's nothing too bad discovered, then they will keep the title on Bryan. However, if they get a bad report from the surgery, then Bryan could be stripped of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Obviously, WWE could decide to keep the title on Bryan and then change their minds at any moment. So as you can see, this whole situation is up in the air. And this is not something the WWE rallied on. This is not something that they banked on. But sometimes in the WWE, you have to expect the unexpected. And that's the thing I'm talking about, about Daniel Bryan. He has so much heart and passion. He has so much desire. He loves the WWE so much that he's willing to put his body on the line and risk permanent paralysis to entertain the fans. And I don't understand why all the fans are jumping on Daniel Bryan and already saying that he's a failure as a champion and that he can't get the job done. You've got to look at this man's work far beyond the WWE, far before what he's accomplished. Look at all his days before, you know, coming up the ranks, not only in ROH, but when he had to, you know, he had to 
fight. He had to scratch. He had to claw his way to the top of the WWE mountain. There were many people that didn't give him a chance. There were many people that didn't say he was going to make it as far as he did. There were many people that said that he was just going to be a flash in the pan. But the WWE has given Daniel Bryan the ball. And when the WWE does something like that, you know that they have this certain amount of trust. They have this certain amount of respect. This admiration that they know that you're giving everything you have and you're going balls to the wall. And that's what Daniel Bryan has doing. And that's why Daniel Bryan is experiencing this neck uh, surgery. He's, he's not neck fusion. It's not as serious as Stone Cold or Edge's uh, neck injury. But it is, uh, you know, to the extent where he does need surgery and he's going to have to lay low for a little while. But you know what? You know, Daniel Bryan's best years may be ahead of him. I mean, if you want to look at Daniel Bryan's best work, you look at ROH. You look at his time before the WWE. I'm not saying that Daniel Bryan hasn't had standout stellar matches in the WWE, but it's just that the WWE has warded him down to a degree, but he has still had five-star matches. But like I said, if you want to look at Daniel Bryan's best in-ring action and his best in-ring work where he wasn't held back, well, then you look towards his days before WWE. So your comments and your opinions on the developments of Daniel Bryan, this injury is legitimate. This isn't just a way to write him out of the storylines and change the script and, you know, change the booking. This is real. This is as real as real can get. This isn't an excuse that Daniel Bryan is using. This is the end all. This is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. And when, when you're dealing with someone's uh, neck on the line, it changes the whole complexity of the situation. And that's why the WWE had to go in and change the booking of payback as concerns how the WWE is going to move forward. And obviously this throws a monkey wrench in the WWE's plans as concerns the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Your comments, your opinions, and remember, if you want me to keep doing this in this format on occasion, I'm not going to do it like this all the time, but if you want me to keep doing the wrap-up rumors and news report, uh, for the for the day's rumors that come out on one day or another day or whatever, or the week's worth, I will do that. But I'm only going to do this on occasion. Only on occasion. Uh, every time a new rumor or a report or gossip comes out, I will cover it. But there are days where it comes out too fast and furious, and I'm just not able to keep up. Remember, I'm only one person. I don't have a whole crew of people helping me uh, upload and download and go through my channel. This is very tough being a one-man band. I'm a one-man band in that... I have the support from the subscribers and the viewers, and I value your comments and your opinions, but I'm only one person on this channel who is working this channel, so you got to understand that I'm under a lot of hard, I'm under a lot of stress, and it takes a long time to do what I do. You may think that this is easy and that anybody can do this, but you don't realize the kind of pressure, you don't, kind of, you don't understand the intensity behind it, you don't understand that intangible of being able to stay as up to date as you can while trying to ignore everything else that's going on. So your comments, your opinions, subscribe.